Now we're going to get ready for cleanup. So I'm done with my ice water bath. Again, it's real important, the cleanup. Um, I, I mentioned earlier about um, having extraneous paraffin around the edges of the block and how that can um, kind of make your angle or of your block face different just by having a blob of paraffin on the bottom. So for that reason, you don't want to leave that for somebody else. You want to always, when you're finished, never walk away from a microtome leaving a blade in the microtome. That's an easy way for somebody who doesn't know how to use this equipment, a cleaning person or somebody that's messing with it to get a real good cut and whack their finger off. These machines actually can cut a finger completely off. Okay. Um, I do have this um, blade cover here that um, was left for me for this microtome. If somebody wanted to use it, I never really use it. I just remove the blade and keep that habit. But it's in the drawer if somebody does want to use it. Okay, so I'm going to clean out. I take some um, forceps and I clean off the extra paraffin here. Extra paraffin also gets up into these crevices. And that affects the way the block seats into the, into the chuck here. So you can get all that off. Then you take the brush and give it a good brushing. Also, these handles get really thick with paraffin when you're microtoming, and it feels kind of icky. So, you know, wipe those off for the next person so they don't have to feel that. Wipe the plate here. Behind the um, knife blade holder, now I don't know if you guys are going to want to remove this routinely or not, and it's pretty calibrated, this knife edge. So if you do remove it, be darn sure that you don't do anything to drop it, ding it against something or whatever, because one nice ding into this, like say on this edge here, and it won't clamp the blade correctly, and you won't get a ribbon on that edge ever again. So I'm going to back off the chuck so the next person that comes in will not have to worry that it's going to um, come up and damage this edge here. I'm going to release the um, lever. And I'm going to pull it out, and you can see all the built-up paraffin. So hold it securely and just um, brush it all off into the garbage. And then you can take a piece of gauze. Now some people are um, will actually get a little water down in here when they're microtoming. That's not too great, so make sure it's really dry. I don't do that, but some people get their blocks real drippy as they're coming back and forth, and they can actually start rusting this. So if you start seeing that, you know, wipe it off and put a little oil there. And, and paraffin buildup on the back of this will make it so you don't get a ribbon. Also, once in a great while, this will start to loosen just a little bit. So if that happens, you'll feel it because when you put this back in, you just slide it back in, and I leave about, um, looks to be a little over a quarter of an inch, uh, kind of sticking out of this slide here. If, if it's loose, you'll kind of feel like it wants to give. You see that? Even though it's not, you know, even if I fully clamp it, it would still want to give. If you ever have that happen, then it's more than likely this little bottom screw just needs a, a very slight turn, like maybe a eighth to a quarter turn. So again, leave about a quarter of an inch or so. And um, securely lock that. Again, if you're... Um, and I make sure this little slide is kind of even on both sides. Maybe I'll... Readjust that a little more this way. Okay, and again, just kind of finger push that forward. And I have this catch tray. I always keep a paper towel in it because that gets a lot of paraffin buildup. And wipe that out. You, I, you know, I wipe this out every time. When it starts getting really thick, you can take it under the hood and use some xylene on this 
and get the rest of the paraffin out. You can't do that with that one because it's plastic. It'll eat it and melt it, but you can with this metal one. And that's it for that. That one's nicely cleaned. Put a paper towel in there to catch some residual paraffin. We'll put these all back in the drawer so everybody knows where they're at. All right, then we do the same thing to this one. Okay, so I left the blade in there, not good. So I'm going to get that out right away. I don't want to try cleaning it and cut myself. This was a facing blade, so I'm going to throw it away because I've used it a second time. Make sure all the paraffin's out of here and the little crevices. Brush it off. Um, back this off of the um, knife holder for the next person. And you can remove this one by, now you can see this one's probably a good inch to an inch and a half is its point. And I actually put a line on here to show you where this corner should line up. I think I'll make that a little darker right now while I'm thinking of it. So here's a line where it should line up. And I'll make that a little darker. Oh, it didn't show up good. So that way you guys will know that this corner here lines up with that line. It'll help you help you out for later on, the little corner. Okay. And we'll just brush it all off, and that's that for this one. And then, you know, if I get a lot of paraffin here, I don't happen to have now, but I take the paper towels out and put some new paper towels in so there's not paraffin everywhere. And I lock it so nobody comes, and that's done. And that's it for microtoming. You want to check the floor a little bit, too, because it gets quite slippery and stuff, and you can use one of the scrapers to get some of the paraffin that's getting built up on the floor so people don't slip and fall when they come in here because it creates a real slick thing. So once in a while, just kind of give it a check. All right, we're done here. You empty the water bath, you're going to unplug it. And you literally bring the whole water bath over to the sink, making sure that you don't get water into the unit itself or on into the end of the cord, of course. And just carry it over to the sink and dump it. Make sure it's really wiped because you don't want this extra paraffin here for the next time to melt into your water bath. So again, this gauze comes in handy and gets that right off very easily. And we're done.